Hi there, it's me, Peter Job again, and today we're going to take a look at uh, key aspects of cybersecurity and endpoint security as well. Now, this is one of the, probably one of the most important aspects of protecting your organisation, and we've put together a real brief overview of the key points, what you really need to consider. Now, yes, this can actually seem quite overwhelming at times, but the most important thing really is having a plan and making sure that you involve the whole organisation. Now today, the key things that you will really learn are five uh, of the most important areas that you can focus on to get you and your organization to a point you, where you're protected and gives you some real peace of mind. We'll also provide you with a simple guide on how you can really move quickly to implement some of those techniques and even get immediate cover by uh, putting in a managed endpoint solution. Now, as I'm sure you know, protecting any business or organization from a cyber attack is one that will keep you awake at night. There's huge ramifications for not getting this correct. Uh, so only last year, the Royal Mail admitted it had spent 10 million on uh, ransomware uh, remediation after a demand for 65 million pounds from a ransomware group called Lockbit, which again has been in the news quite recently. And in September last year, KNP Logistics, one of the UK's largest privately owned logistics firms, was forced into administration after a ransomware attack and 700 employees were, were made redundant. Most recently, the British Library was also hit by a major ransomware attack that took down all of its online and on-site services and was out of action for a number of weeks. Now, the impact on these um, organisations has been huge, with all the staff being affected, major reputational damage, and also long-term ramifications for the confidence and reliability in the organisation's infrastructure. So let's look at the five things you really need to consider straight away. So firstly, endpoint security, followed by EDR, XDR, MXDR, SOX and NOX. Now, I know there's a lot of acronyms there, um, but we'll go through those and explain. So firstly, what is endpoint security and why is it so fundamental? Well, firstly, um, here's a quick description. An endpoint could be any device, such as a PC, tablet, smartphone or a server printer that connects to a network. Now as such it's fairly easy to guess that with any of these there can be an entry point for a cyber attack which is why it's so fundamental to protect them properly and securely. Endpoint security platforms enable examination of files um, as they enter or cross the network and many are now cloud-based as well so they deal with vast quantities of data also, many products now offer um, detection of much more advanced threats, and these are known as endpoint detection and response, or EDR, which allows the cybersecurity teams to detect malware, polymorphic, and zero-day uh, zero types of attack from anywhere. Most importantly, the majority of systems are now cloud-based, and a new threat protection can be rolled out remotely to pretty much any device. Uh, reducing time and effort for the security team, but above all, making response times to threats much faster. Additionally, threats can also now come from new areas such as smart watches, Internet of Things devices, or any network uh, connected devices. So what is XDR, you might ask? Well, XDR is Extended Detection and Response, which provides visibility across the whole of your infrastructure estate and is really designed to simplify enterprise network security management by correlating data together from multiple points across the network, including cloud, mobile, networks, firewalls, tablets, etc. XDR provides data analytics and threat intelligence to make the whole process of managing complexity much simpler for IT teams to manage and also improves speed to resolution, more importantly. And very often also, XDR solutions will also provide machine learning and AI to provide extra protection and automation of manual processes. Now just to add even more acronyms next is MXDR. So that's Managed Extended Detection Response. So this is essentially the same as XDR, but in this occasion the software is managed by a, an external managed service provider, an MSP or third party. This means that an organization can have all of their business and IT managed from a single service which provides a complete end-to-end -end visibility across the entire attack service. Now usually this is provided as a 24-7 service including detection, monitoring, investigation and mitigation. 
And in many cases, this can be done semi-automatically, but also very often there's a large team of cybersecurity experts either on hand or in the background to provide expert backup and to deal and manage the most difficult cases. Now, generally, this type of system would be in a security operations centre or SOC, and will often be run in conjunction with a network operation, the centre or NOC, and very often they're combined together. The real benefits of this service are improved threat detection, much faster reduced costs as um, automation or economies of scale are achieved, but also, most importantly of all, assurance that many areas are being covered all at once. Now, this also means that reputational damage is protected and mitigated as much as possible, and also cyber insurance is reduced. Additionally, it also means that you won't need to worry about hiring or retaining cyber talent, which is very often in short supply in our industry, or having to maintain and continually update lots of different systems. Now, we're going to look at what you need if you're considering a SOC in another video coming soon. So please, again, click on the uh, link below to subscribe. So let's look at uh, five endpoint security best practices. Probably the most obvious is to educate your employees and, of course, your fellow directors and board members. Sometimes that gets forgotten about. The majority of ransomware attacks are as a result of poor security processes from internal staff. Now, secondly, um, patch and secure all devices and make sure that the patching is automated and done on a regular basis using the most up-to-date patching technology. Thirdly, really strictly enforce principle of least privilege, or PLP as it's well known. Each user program application can only access the resources that are really needed. Fourth, implement a zero trust model. And this means that no users are trusted and there is strict access controls. Most important areas of zero trust are identity and access management combined with network segmentation. Lastly, strengthen your passwords. One of the simplest and most effective ways to really combat threats and one of the most common ways that intruders gain access into organisations. Now, as you've probably seen from this short video, there's an awful lot to understand. But also, it's worth pointing out that people and processes are just as important as the technology and technology on its own won't keep you safe and secure. So one last point to bear in mind there's a wealth of security information management tools out there, or SEAMs, uh, such as Splunk, Manage Engine, Datadog, just to name but a few. Now, we'll be reviewing some of these in the next few videos, but in the meantime, it is worth noting there's now a shift away from these towards advanced data lakes that incorporate machine learning and AI. So what these new technologies allow is the, protect, is the proactive detection of potential threats, lateral movements, and suspicious activities. So this means that these threats can very often be swiftly identified and resolved within a remarkably short time frame of less than 45 minutes. This really means you can get up in the morning knowing that there's been an overnight threat. It will have been discovered and remediated even before you've woken up. Now, in some, some of the subsequent videos, we will be doing a much deeper dive into some of the technology areas, as well as looking at the ways you can save costs and uh, gain security through third-party managed security solutions. Um, but in the meantime, if you would like to subscribe, please do click uh, the button below. Thank you very much.